Yeah, we talked about it for a He's, while. He said he was asked, what did you think that play would work? And he said when it was called. Is that the <laughs> confidence you see in him? Yeah, yeah, that's why. I mean, that's how he is. That's his confidence level. So, um, yeah, he uh, he's one of those guys that, that, that thinks he can do anything, and that's good. That's half the battle. Zach, you talked about kind of shifting the lineup around. Was, was Kroom in there originally, or did you insert him after the timeout? Because it seems like he may have been kind of the unsung here in the way that yeah, he kind of. Yeah, we inserted him uh, just to get a little bit more speed down there. And him and Ethan are both very big, and they're both very capable. Uh, just need some speed down there at the edge um, and, and just got sometimes when you're going and you have that play called and you're not able to have a timeout or able to have time to talk about it you just got to go with the personnel that's on the field in the formations that you have and that's how we practice it we also when we have a timeout are able to move the pieces around where we need them and thank God that we had a couple left um, and, and uh, coach called a timeout we were able to do what we need to do and, and get the right pieces in there you talked about his uh, he, he was backside initially. Yeah, he's, he's the extra receiver. You talked about Kroom's speed, but his, his size seemed to kind of block out some guys. Did, was that thought, part of the thought process as well, or is that just kind of? You know, actually, uh, him and the, the Jawan and the point man, um, JJ, uh, Kroom's actually the jumper, but when, when guys get passed across, they just flip responsibilities, and that's kind of how it went down. I don't know if. if it mattered. I think Juwan was going to go try and catch that ball, <laughs> regardless of how it's drawn on paper and how we talk about it. He's just he was he was going to go get that thing. Coach, we forget kind of that you know, Juwan didn't play receiver in high school, didn't even start out at receiver here. Just how has he you know, come along his development, and, you know, sort of polishing up this yeah. set? Um, he's he's been great. I mean, you know, anytime you recruit an athlete that they can do a lot of things, you know, they just need time in one position over a period of time to get consistent, and that's what he's had. Um, and, you know, he's been a little slowed up with the knee. I think he, he could be ahead of where he's supposed to be now had he not had that uh, surgery in the spring and with the summer he didn't, he didn't have the summer. So he's, he's still dealing with all those little, little, uh, little things of, you know, the knee and just, you know, being sore like you would any player. And uh, just the intricacies of playing wide out, he's not where he should be because he did not have the summer, but he's getting there. How good is a uh, so uh, they're very good. Um, one of the best we've seen so far, absolutely. They run, they hit, they're violent. Obviously, we all know about up front, but I think that they complement the secondary very well. The safeties are two of the, the best hitters we'll see all season, um, and the corners do a great job. They put them on the island a lot, and they can't because they have those, those more daddies up front. So one of the best we've seen, obviously, very well coached, um, and they're undefeated for a reason.